Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Yulana, a high school student, and today I would like to talk to you about sleep functions, sleep cycle, and some sleep disorders. Have you ever wondered why we even need sleep? Sleep is an important function that humans develop from the evolutionary process, which allows our body and mind to recharge during nighttime and repair the damages we experience during the day. Maintaining a healthy and regular sleep rhythm protects us from various diseases or malfunctions of different organs. It also supports us to restore and rebuild our memories from the day, um, which can facilitate neuroplasticity. Another essential function of sleep is that melatonin is produced in the pineal gland and get released, so we could have a stable and regulated circadian rhythm, which is the physical, mental, and physiological changes we make in the 24 hours of a day, day cycle. Sorry, my slide has some problems. This is sleep functions. Now, sleep cycle. Not only does the number of hours you get to sleep affect your sleep quality, but also the separate four stages of sleep are also vital to the overall quality of the restorative function of sleep. Understanding the four stages and their related waves could help explain further sleep disorders that will be introduced in this lecture. The four stages of the sleep can be broadly categorized as two types. NREM and REM. NREM is composed of three stages. The higher the stage is, the harder it is to awaken a person. Stage one, when the person initially falls into the shadow sleep. Even though the body, such as the muscles, isn't completely re relaxed, the internal brain and body activities start, start to slow down. Stage one is rather short, with an average lasting time of four to seven minutes. It is important to note that hypoga hi um, sorry hypnagogic hallucinations could possibly occur within this stage, which are the dreamlike episodes that could be disturbed or interrupted by external stimuli such as sound or light. They may not even notice if um, they've fallen asleep. Stage 2. Um, the body experiences a more moderate state such as a drop in temperature, less metabolism process processed in the body, relax the muscle, and decrease the respiration rate. In addition, K-complexes and fast sleep swindles may appear which may be related to sleep homeostasis and memory restoration. This stage often reappears several times during the entire sleep cycle. The first N2 may last for 10 to 25 minutes, but the person typically spends half the sleeping time in N2. Stage 3 is also known as the sleep sleep, which is really hard to wake someone up from this sleep, uh, deep sleeping mode. Muscle tone respiration rate pulse relax even further. Delta waves occur, the, that's NREM3 is also called Delta sleep or slow wave sleep. Evidence has shown that sleep 3 is vital for girls, recovery, and the immune system. In the first half of the sleep, you spend most of, most of your time in stage 3. NREM, NREM sleep will get shorter and shorter as you continue sleeping. Number 4, REM sleep stands for rapid eye movement sleep, and the brain activities gets more active, almost near the level when you are awake. On the other hand, your body experiences um, atonia or parad paradoxical sleep, which is a state when your muscles get relaxed and then temporarily paralyzed, except for the eyes and diaphragm muscles that control breathing. Even though your eyes are closed, the eyeball is moving quickly. This is how this stage gets its name, REM sleep. Another interesting fact is that REM sleep is where your vivid dreams come from, which can also be explained by the active and intense brain activities. As you continue sleeping and enter a deeper sleeping mode, you will spend more time in REM sleep, especially the second half of the night. In total, REM sleep makes up 25% of adult sleep. Finally, sleep or disorders involve problems with the quality and quantity of sleep. Um, the first one is insomnia, involves problems with getting into sleep or staying asleep during night. Sleep apnea involves breathing interruptions during sleep, for example, by obstruction of the airway that causes snoring, gasping, breathing pauses. The major risk of factor of sleep apnea is obesity. Another interesting sleep disorder is narcolepsy, with the statistics of one in every 2,000 adults, which happens when people experience periods of an irrepressible need to fall asleep multiple times within a day. This disorder is extremely dangerous. Imagine when you are driving on a highway and suddenly you feel like sleeping, and you cannot resist. The upcoming results are severe car crashes or even possibly deaths. Sometimes due to the pressure of studies or work, you may feel like sleep is unnecessary, but it is such a good time to relax and forget about the pressure and worries. Humans have evolved to sleep as a means of conserving energy, growing and rebuilding memories. Remember, sleep is important. And here are my references. Thank you for, this. Thank you for listening and please stay tuned.